Hello everyone, in this tutorial what I'll be covering is the order by keyword and the order by keyword is useful if we wish to sort data in a certain order. By default, data is sorted in ascending order but you also have the option of sorting data in descending order. The order by keyword is used with the select clause similar to the where clause so we will be building onto the select clause in this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is, of course, the syntax. So in our previous tutorial, we used the where clause. In this case, we're going to use the order by keyword. And later on, I will show you that you can use the order by and the where clause within the same select clause. But just to keep things simple, let's just act like we don't know about the where clause for a second. So order by and have column names or you can just have one column here if you want to next you can determine if you want it to be sorted in ascending order or descending order so again really quickly here nothing up here is changing and here we have our new keyword order by and then we're specifying by what column or column names we want to actually sort our data and then we have ascending by default your data is sorted ascending but you do have the option of typing descending after your column names. So next what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete this where clause and all of its content just to make things simpler to understand. And I'm going to type order by. And then for the column name, let's start with, let's say zip code. All right. And that's all I'm going to type there. And I'm going to hit enter or hit save, come to my browser, hit refresh. And if we look at this really closely here, looking at the zip code, as we can see, this list is sorted in ascending order based on the zip code. So as you can see, we have 0, 0, 0, 0. Then we start getting to the 40,000, 56,000, and 60,000. So let's say, for example, we want to sort this list in descending order, meaning we want it to start from 60,000 and continue on down until it gets to zero. So all we have to do here is type descending. I'm going to hit save, refresh my browser, and as you can see now, 60,000 is at the top. And again, we're sorting this based on the zip code. Now, like I said earlier, you can also sort your data by more than one column. Now, the second column is only used if the first column contains entries that are equal. So if we go to our database over here, we do have some entries for the first name column where we have Robert displayed here twice right so let's say for example we go back over to our text editor and let's leave the zip code there i'm going to delete the descending and let's put first name and next i'm going to put a comma and then i'm going to have zip code so in this case i'm saying i want to order by first name and then if i have any entries that are equal for the first name i want you to sort those entries by their zip code so again, before you even go to our browser, just to make sure you understand this. So as you can see here, we have Robert here twice, but their zip codes are the same. So in this situation, they're not really going to sort them in any kind of particular order. But for example, Sally, we have two Sally's here, but the zip codes are different. So in this situation, you may have this Sally be presented first or sorted first, and then you'll see this Sally. So if we go ahead and save this, and I go to my browser, hit refresh. So as you can see here, we have Mike Kilgore first because again, we are sorting this list here by the first name. So M does come before all these other names. So anyway, next we come to the Robert Smith. Again, here we have the same first name and we have the same zip code. So these aren't really being sorted in any particular order other than they're being listed uh, before these other names because their first name begins with the R. But next we come to Sally and as we can see it listed Sally with a zip code of zero before it listed this Sally here with a zip code of 56,000 and something. So again as I stated if it comes to a situation where it has two first names or two entries with the same first name it's going to go to that next column that you specify which is zip code. And there we had a difference, so it listed this Sally Green before it did Sally Tom. Now, if I wanted to list that in descending order, I could easily just type 
that DESC, hit save, refresh my browser. And as you can see now, the Sally Tom just went before the Sally Green. That's the only thing that changed here. And very quickly, just to show you that you can combine the select clause with an order by and a where clause if you wanted to. So for example, let's go ahead and delete this descending and let's go ahead and get rid of this first name. And what I'm gonna do here is type where. I'm gonna say where first name is equal to, and let's type Sally, all right? I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll over a little so you can see everything I have. So I'm saying select all from contacts where first name is equal to Sally. And I want you to order those two by the zip code. So I'm gonna hit save, come back to my browser, refresh. And as you can see, we're only displaying the users or the records that contain a first name as Sally. And we're also ordering this list here or this data here based on the zip code in ascending order. So again, if I wanted to make a descending just so this is sinking in, type descending there, hit refresh, and again, now we have it in descending order based on the zip code. So that does conclude this tutorial. So hopefully now you have a new or better understanding about the order by keyword. So be sure to take the online quiz at thephpbasics.com and I will see you in the next video.